Hi, it's Katrina. From squishy little octopuses to real life Pokemon, here are 10 surprisingly cute and tiny sea creatures. Number 10, a baby starfish. Check out this little dude, or dudette. It gets a little complicated because starfish can have both male and female anatomy all at once. That's gonna make for a complicated discussion with the parents later in life. When he or she is bigger, they'll look a bit different, but for now, let's enjoy the sight of a squishy looking baby starfish. This example follows in a long tradition of colorful yet pointy ancestors. Of course, cuteness is in the eye of the beholder, but in any case, I know you want to learn more about these animals, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Did you know that there are over 2,000 starfish species? Starfish are extremely successful, being found in every saltwater ocean on the planet. No pressure, little baby, but it seems you have a lot to live up to. One thing you should know about the baby starfish are the odds that it has to be to get to this point. Almost all starfish eggs wind up as someone's dinner, so at least this one got a shot. Starfish babies are extremely tiny and nearly invisible to the naked eye. They look like little blobs of jelly until they are about a month or two old. Then they start growing little tubes that will become its arms. They won't be considered a full-grown adult until they are two years old. Number nine, a baby green sea urchin. Sea urchins are among the most mysterious creatures of the sea, and they are prickly. But just like any other creature, they can be so cute when they're young. An important thing you should know is that the urchin goes through an extraordinary transformation process that wouldn't look out of place on a show like Star Trek. Before it gets to the colorful form you see here, it has to travel in a strange transparent ship. This is actually the form taken by sea urchin larvae inside their protective coating to boldly go where no urchin has gone before. Once it approaches the shore, it has to break out of the spaceship type vehicle and attach itself to the nearest rock or surface. From there, it blossoms into the stunning example of sea life you see before you. It's nice to know at the end of an arduous journey, it becomes something super cute to some. Just don't step on it. Number eight, Glaucus Atlanticus. This creature looks just like a Pokemon, doesn't it? Like a Pokemon, it's sweet, but can be dangerous. Another name for this fascinating critter known as Glaucus Atlanticus is Blue Dragon. And dragons aren't known for being friendly, but in this cute little tiny size, who can resist? Because they're so pretty. They are also known as Blue Angels and Sea Swallows. Full grown, they can be up to three centimeters long. There's something else you should know about this though. It's not really a dragon. I'm just kidding, I know that you knew that. It's actually a type of slug, but they like to float in warm ocean currents. Make the most of the cute version because when they grow up, they take a turn for the predatory. No matter how small and tiny they may seem, the best idea is to stay away. Surprisingly, they can eat jellyfish and will even eat each other. When they come across jellyfish floating around, they will grab them with their claws and pull off chunks with their needle-sharp teeth. And you can get a sting from a washed-up blue dragon as strong, if not more powerful, than that that you'd get from a jellyfish. How? If Glaucus atlanticus has eaten a poisonous jellyfish, they concentrate that poison and use it to sting. This is looking less adorable by the second. Ah, that's a lie. It's still cute. And now for number seven. But first, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe before you leave. Let us know your favorite sea creature in the comments below. Number seven, the baby octopus. Nothing will make your day more than the sight of a baby octopus. So heartwarming, which is interesting really because an octopus is born with three hearts. Plus it's a baby octopus and practically any baby sea creature is bound to be cute. I just don't have enough time in this video to list them all. Throw in the fact that there are almost 300 species swimming around out there, and that's a whole lot of organs. With all that blood pumping, it's going to be a strong animal. The baby octopus are also pretty squishy since they don't have any bones, although paleontologists have found that they used to have shells, which they lost over time. Females can lay up to 400,000 eggs, and they will protect them and filter them constantly, making sure they get enough oxygen. The female will stop eating, and sadly, this is the beginning of the end. A sad aspect of the baby octopus's life is that its parents die after it's born. The mother's body will begin to collapse from starvation and exhaustion. Her cells will start to commit cellular suicide that starts from the inside out until she dies. It's still a mystery why these intelligent creatures don't live very long. 
they are definitely fascinating animals and we still have much to learn about the octopus. Number six, the sea bunny. This is another case of something that looks downright adorable but is in fact deceptively badass. Still extremely cute though, right? Meet the sea bunny slug, which looks just like some kind of sweet and tiny furry creature. Native to the Indo-Pacific Ocean, it's a slug whose less adorable name is Joruna parva. But put the word bunny in front of it and all thoughts of slime and gross internal organs coming out when you accidentally step on them are forgotten. Even so, this is a slug like any other and what you're seeing isn't what it seems. Take that so-called fur for instance. This is in fact a covering of what are called karyophilidia or rods that are believed to be used for detecting things. Those things on its head aren't little ears, but rhinophores that sniff out chemicals in the water to detect mates and meals. As with the Glaucus atlanticus, the sea bunny slug can really give jellyfish a tough time. Not only does it eat them, but it can use its own stinger against one, plucking it out like a knife from a drawer. Cuddle up to this cutie at your own risk which might be difficult because it's only about two and a half centimeters long. Number five, the baby frogfish. The frogfish has a reputation as a famous undersea imitator. It has excellent camouflage and can blend in with its surroundings and fool both predators and prey. When it's a baby, however, it does a pretty good impression of something that's super cute. Look at the little fella, aww. It's part of a group made up of 46 recorded species that exists in a range of underwater habitats. When it grows up, it'll be super cool because the frogfish relies on jets of water to move along rather than a tail. Its gills are almost like rocket thrusters, which make it more dynamic than other fish in the ocean. Just because it's small, don't make the mistake that a young frogfish is a pushover. Some types of juvenile frogfish can make themselves look like toxic nudibranches to ward off hungry visitors. If you're wondering what a nudibranch is, it's a slug without a shell, like the sea bunny slug and the Glaucus atlanticus that I was talking about earlier. While it sounds similar to a chameleon, there's a key difference in that the frogfish changes its color really slowly. It's the world's slowest master of disguise, but the results are breathtaking. Number four, the little nudibranch. Well, look who it is, a baby nudibranch. Hey there, we were just talking about you. Seems to be a lot of little slugs in the ocean. Not that we're complaining when you look this adorable. The name comes from nudibranchia, meaning naked gills, which is kind of odd as their gills are feathery. As well as having rhinophores on their heads to find sustenance, they get their coloring from what they eat. That is probably what contributes to its diverse range of looks, demonstrated across a mind-blowing 2,000 species. They mate very easily because there are no males and females. The nudibranch is a hermaphrodite species. Their lifespans are really varied too. Some last only a matter of months, while others go on longer for nearly a year. Hopefully this one we're looking at is gonna have a nice long life. Well, in nudibranch terms anyway. Number three, the baby ghost crab. Of all the entries on this list, this one definitely has the most unappealing name. Ghost crab sounds kind of spooky. It has another name, which is the mole crab, which doesn't exactly sell it to us. But what's in a name? This little guy is considered by some to be very tiny and cute. Actually, it's called a ghost crab for a cool reason. Its pale color means it can blend in perfectly with the sand, so I guess that gives it a kind of ghost-like quality. Also, its body looks a bit transparent. They like to burrow in the sand and can run really quickly. They can dart sideways at up to 10 miles per hour. As it develops, the crab won't have any shortage of fuel to munch on. These things are not picky eaters and will eat sea turtle eggs, the hatchlings, clams, insects, you name it. Not great for endangered sea turtles. Number two, the baby seahorse. Baby seahorses are arguably the cutest thing you'll find in the ocean. Want to know something that'll make them seem even cuter? They're the product of love, not just procreation. Well, we like to think of it that way. The male and the female stay together for life and perform a kind of dance as part of a ritual each morning. How romantic! They are one of the only animal species on Earth where the male bears the young. When mating, the female will deposit the eggs into his pouch and the miniature seahorses are born 9 to 45 days later, up to 1,500 of them. These tiny baby seahorses have a rough time though. They are quickly eaten up by predators and have to find a way to hide while they eat the plankton that drift by. Full-grown seahorses range from about 0.6 to 14 inches. Number one, the baby sea turtle. Sea turtles are loved by just about everyone, but baby sea turtles, they give baby seahorses a run for their money. 
The female sea turtles will make the tiresome journey to get to the sandy beach, dig a hole and lay up to 100 eggs. The sea turtles will then hatch and make a mad dash for the water, trying to avoid all kinds of predators, from birds to foxes to raccoons to the ghost crab. The odds aren't great for these little critters, but when they make it to the water, their odds improve a little. There then follows a period called the Lost Years, where they grow and hide until they find themselves out in open water. The period when they're finding their flippers is known as the swimming frenzy. Sea turtles really do have it rough. Not only are they faced with various predators before they even dive into the sea to start their life, they're expected to work it all out for themselves once they get there. Thanks for watching! Are there any other cute and tiny sea creatures you'd like to add? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon! Bye!